Hello everybody, this is part 5 of the Rhino modeling demo of the Mid Journey concept design. And in this part, I would like to demonstrate the modeling of this detail over here. Okay, let's start. Let's switch to shaded display mode. And now I need to create the curves that will form the edges of the new detail and I can do so by using the offset curve from surface and applying them on four existing edges. I'm setting the offset distance to 0 0.4 apply on the first edge, the second edge and the edges on this side as well. Flip. Flip. Okay, now I need to trim off the excess regions of the newly created curves. Click on the trim command, cutting object, object to trim. Okay, let's repeat the process on this side as well. Now what I want to do is to select only the relevant objects for our task at hand and then hide the rest so that we can reduce clutter on screen. Doing an inverse hide. Okay, I want to duplicate a curve on the existing frontal edge. And then trim off the top and bottom ends of this curve using these two curves. Okay, I'm trimming off the ends. And this is the curve that I need, which will serve as a cross section for a new surface that will be the basis of the detail. Let's switch to ghosted mode so that we can see the further processes and I'm going to use the interpolate point curve make sure it's set to degree 3 to create additional cross sections for the new detail okay I'm going to select these two control points you might decide on the relevant uh, gumball point alignment method. In this case, I'm aligning using the align to object. Okay, maybe something like that. And let's repeat the process for this side. The bullet point curve, degree 3. Select the two control points and adjust them accordingly. Okay, maybe something like that. Okay, now I need to create the the end sections which are actually points. Okay, let's join the curves on both sides into single curve, which will form the basis of the rail. And let's repeat the process for the bottom edge as well. Okay, let me start to create the surface now and I'm going to use the sweep tool rail. First rail, second rail, sweep shape across section, sweep shape, sweep shape. Sweep shape. Oops. I think the bottom rail is not properly done now. Let me do the joint again. Okay, let me repeat the 
sweep two rail again. First rail, second rail, first sweep shape, second sweep shape, third, fourth, then the last sweep shape. Enter. Great, I think we got our surface. Click OK. And now we need to cut away the unwanted region on the existing object. Let's turn to shader mode so we can see the process better. I can select the two curves that will be used as the cutting object and then click on the trim and then select the region to trim. Okay, something like that. Great. Let's analyze the surface in Zebra. Oh, the control points are all converging into one point, which is not good. Okay, so I'm going to fix that region. I'm going to use the polyline to cut a four sided region and then use. A surface command to fill up that region. Okay, I'm going to click the trim command and then trim off this region. And now we have a four sided opening. I think I can use something like the surface on network curve. Select the edges, poly surface edge. Only surface edge, enter, and then I need to determine the correct edge matching option. A and B set to position, C and D set to curvature. Click OK. Let's analyze the surface now. Okay, I think it's better than the previous result. Now let's repeat the process on this side. I think I'm going to switch to the top view. Easier to work that way. Creating the polyline again. Make sure that the edges are like more or less corresponding or aligned to existing edges. Okay, click trim. And I have a four-sided opening again. Using the surface on network curve, let's fill up this opening. Okay, A and B set to position. C and D set to curvature. Click OK. Let's join all the surfaces into a solid. Great, we got one closed poly surface. Let's hide the curves and the points as well. I think I need to turn to the rendered mode. Uh, I need to reassign the material again. Let's type libraries and reassign the material. So this is the result. Seems pretty okay. Let's bring back the rest. Maybe I should hide the curves and the points again. Okay, eventually I created additional minor details 
on the design and this is the final result and with that I come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you bye